3D Worm in Apple Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you an extreme 3D apple with a little worm that comes out of it for the back to school season. I do have some other past back to school nails that I'll put in the description box below. And I know that this back to school is different for a lot of families than it was previously. And so I decided to do something that's just cute and funny and you know, not quite as obviously back to school as I've done in the past. I hope you like this design as much as I do. I think that little worm is so cute. And don't forget to click subscribe to all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with an overlay of a cover pink acrylic. The great thing with a cover pink, which is basically just like a nude that's kind of semi-clear, is that it basically becomes invisible in the background and your eyeball just ignores it and it looks at the design only, which is something that I really like to do because it really makes the art pop. So I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file to make sure that it's all nice and smooth and crisp and clean and beautiful for all of that 3D art that I mentioned. I'm going to begin sculpting my apple with the brightest red acrylic I own, which is kind of a nice cherry red. And I'm going to press it out and kind of gently manipulate it. And I sculpted my apple on an angle on the nail so it wasn't just straight up and down. I kind of like the way it looks when the art is slightly, almost intentionally crooked, if you will. I'm going to take the tip of my brush and gently poke it in to create the indent in the top of the apple, which is going to give a really nice space for where the stem and the leaf are. Kind of smooth that out with a little bit more of the acrylic, and then with the dotting tool I'm going to create a hole in the side for where my little worm is going to be. Flatten out the lip that that hole created, and then smooth it out once again with a bit more of the red acrylic. So now once I have all of my apple done, going to fill in the hole with a tan color or like a light white something you know apple color the inside of the apple so now on a nail form backing I'm going to sculpt the brown stem which is really teeny tiny and I like to have the apple sculpted first for a design like this so that you can know a better idea of exactly how big you need your stem and your leaf for it to look appropriate even though I'm not quite sculpting the leaf yet I'll get to that soon but I'm going to now sculpt the base for my worm. So the worm is green, but you can sculpt your worm whatever color you like. You know, it's a worm. It can be kind of a pink color or really sky's the limit. So I'm going to take my green and just sculpt a worm that's a very basic shape. And then I'm going to glue those two pieces onto the nail. So I'm going to glue the stem on to the top of the apple, just coming out like so. And then I'm going to glue that worm into the hole. So when the worm is glued into the hole, you can decide exactly how 3D and how far up you want him to go. I stuck him up pretty high so that it really came off the nail. And then I'm going to thicken up behind the worm with a bit more of the green acrylic. It was very flat when it came off the nail form backing and didn't have the, you know, super 3D, 360 appearance that I wanted it to have. So adding a little bit more acrylic to both sides just to kind of bulk it up and give it some more, more 3D-ness is always good kind of fill it out round it off a bit smooth out all those all those sides underneath the apple stem a bit too that one is more to add strength than anything else visually but it is good to have that so it is nice and strong so then on the nail form backing i'm going to be sculpting the leaf for my apple and so i'm going to use the same green that i used for my worm actually and just sculpt your basic leaf shape and then as that is setting up i'm going to work next to it and i'm going to create the eyes for my worm so i wanted my worm's eyes to be really really big and kind of like googly eyes so i'm going to sculpt two little white circles and then go back to my leaf and kind of add some of the veining in it a little bit more detail and then go back to my eyes add a little bit more crispness and nice lines to those and then i'm going to slide the brush my brush underneath that leaf and by doing that i'm going to pick it up and it's not fully set yet so it's still a little bit soft and i'm going to take my brush and i'm going to press it onto the stem and then let it just kind of curve down gently and yeah just use a little bit of muscle power and then after that i'm going to glue the eyeballs onto my worm so just glue them on so they really stick up off the worm. You see what I mean when I said they're kind of like googly eyes? They're just really big and exaggerated. So then I'm going to secure both the eyeballs to my worm and the leaf to the stem with some clear acrylic underneath. So just a touch. It doesn't take much of it. I'm also going to take more white acrylic and add some more 3D-ness to the eyeballs. So when I sculpt stuff on a nail form backing, it is just to create a base most of the time. And if I want something to be extra three-dimensional and really nice 
and you know have some sculpted detail to it I add that afterwards if you want to do all of it on the nail form backing you certainly can it's personal preference so I'm going to be adding some eyebrows to my little wormy with some nice really big bold black acrylic the actual acrylic isn't necessarily bigger bold but the eyebrows are big and bold so I've got those and just sculpt them right along the top of the eyeball almost kind of like eyeliner but for me these are going to be his eyebrows so sculpt those lines going down like so you want the worm to have kind of a really approachable friendly look on his face so now with black acrylic paint I'm going to be doing some outlines around the base of my apple and this is diluted black acrylic paint so the line isn't very harsh just kind of soft I'm going to blend that up the apple on the one side do some shading on it and give it an extra luscious look Go around the other side of my apple with that diluted black paint shade in the hole for both my worm and then the indent on the top of the apple go around the worm's eyes with the black paint and when you dilute your black paint it just makes it a bit more workable it doesn't always make it less black or less intense of a color but just a little thinner so that you can you know more easily paint thin lines with some very bright green acrylic paint I'm going to be doing some stripes on my worm and that's totally optional if you don't want to do any kind of a pattern on him you can skip it and then with some red paint I'm going to be adding a highlighted area onto my apple so it's going to be on the worm side of things blend that out just a little bit you see how more 3d it makes that apple look it looks like the apple comes off the nail so much more and like you could just pick it up at this point I also had a little white highlight on my apple that I missed recording. I'm sorry, but then I'm going to apply some gel sealer over the background to make sure that that's really super shiny as well as over my worm because I want him to look like he's nice and slippery and, you know, worm-like. And then some matte top coat over the apple and over the little leaf. And that is it. I hope you guys like this design as much as I do. If you would like to see any of my past back to school nails, as I said, I'll put links to them in the description box below. The 4D one that has an opening notebook, I highly recommend. It's one of my favorite videos ever. So definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it before. And I will see you next time. Bye.